quickly pick a card with Serena Rose and from the Sacred Geometry Activations Oracle Deck. Sacred Geometry Activations Oracle Deck. We all are a part of this earth, this field of energy, this plane that we are living on. And we all have our own fields of energy that we carry with our person. So this reading is speaking to what needs to be activated, what energy gets to be alive in your life right now. If you have not done so already, I invite you to close your eyes, to take a deep breath in, and release. When you open your eyes, you can pick a card, one, two, or three, wherever your eyes go, trust your soul's guidance. Card A or one is Gaia. Gaia. The frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another, just as we are to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all. Everything is connected, everything is reflected. The energy that radiates outwardly is what comes back energetically to you. Those who come into your life, the relationships that you have and share, they're there for a reason for your soul's highest ascension in this life. Your soul chose this human that is you. Your soul chose your family. Your soul chose your friends. Every person you cross paths with is for a reason. It's not one that needs to be figured out, but just acknowledged. Acknowledge and trust that you are infinite, that your soul has the answers, that you are held by the greatest mother of them all, the universe. There's peace in that. There's harmony and strength in that. Know that you can speak things into existence. I recommend mantras or speaking directly to the universe or to your higher self, connecting to your heart center, your intuition, and your deepest desires of your soul. Gaia. Card B or card two is conception.
The frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. Mm. How beautifully these cards flow together. A reminder that we are in this together. We are all humans of this earth doing our best to be human we conceive other humans and guide them to be the best humans that we know <laughs> to be. Do you know that there are infinite possibilities, infinite, of where you go from here, of what the day brings, of what tomorrow brings, next month? next year. Anything that you desire, anything that you think, anything that you believe is what you conceive. It's what you can hold space for and allow and receive. This card is exactly that direct invitation to bring consciousness to that understanding, to creation, to the infinite creation that is in our existence. It feels important to also touch on intentions. Are you feeding into love, into fear? into darkness or light. When you have an idea that you wish to conceive, what is your intention behind it? Check in. What energy are you feeding because it is the energy that will return? Okay. Card C or three is the third eye chakra. The frequency of the third eye chakra, the indigo flower of life supports our intuition and our inner knowing, our imagination, and our psychic powers. Mm. Right now, being under the new moon in Pisces, a beautiful time to connect to those psychic abilities, to visions, to dreams, to that realm. to allow our dreams to be seen, to allow ourselves to see visions, to trust our intuitive abilities, to trust what it is that we're seeing. Pisces are very intuitive, harboring psychic powers specifically as a visionary. Give yourself permission to open your third eye and to see. So much awaits you. All of you, one, two, and three. Thank you so much for being here and receiving these transmissions today. I trust that 
you received and I trust that you are provided for in this life. Thank you. I love you. And I'll see you next time.